Hello and welcome to the new lesson on AD Connect. In this lesson we will see how we can connect or synchronize our on-premises Active Directory with our Azure Active Directory. Imagine we have a hybrid cloud model in which some of our infrastructure resides on our on-premises servers and some of it is in public cloud, let's say Azure. So we, wa we might want to synchronize our on-premises Active Directory users to our Azure Active Directory so that they can also benefit from the features like uh, single sign-on, multi-factor authentication, and also access our cloud-based resources and applications, just like our native cloud identities or users. So in this lab, we will see how we do that. Now, for the sake of demonstration, I have already set up a Windows Server-based virtual machine and promoted it into a domain controller. So without further ado, let's see how it is done. So as you can see, I'm already logged into my virtual machine. And in here you can see my Active Directory and all of its components and organizational units. I have added an additional organizational unit by the name of Office 365. So the objective would be to synchronize all the users within this organizational group, organizational unit, okay? So in case you are wondering how do we add an organization unit, simply click on this domain that you have, right click and then go to new. And under this tab, you can find this section which says Organizational Unit. And just name the folder and you'll have a new organizational unit or in short OU in your domain, okay? So within this domain, within this OU, I have added some users by the name Synced1 and Synced2. So the objective of this lab would be to not synchronize everything but only these users with my Azure Active Directory. So by the end of this lab, I must be, I must be seeing these two users and have their account in my in my Azure Active Directory. So let's see how we do that. Now the first thing you want to do is to add uh, is to download a small package by the name Azure AD Connect. You can easily download it from Google or from Microsoft website. And once you download it, you just have to run the installation package and then it will be a simple click next installation type and once you're done, you'll be automatically presented with this tab. So this is where the whole configuration process begins. So this is the very first tab. So I have just have to agree to the license and terms. So I check this box and then simply click continue. Now for the sake of simplicity, I will carry, I will proceed with the, the most simple configuration. So other, either I can use my express settings or let's see what customized option has for us. So I'll click on customize. And then I have certain features over here. Now, if you want to, if you're keen about uh, exploring about exploring each and every feature that is mentioned over here, you can simply uh, research on that on Google. But f as for me, I'm pretty comfortable with uh, with these settings, and I'll simply click install. So the installation process begins. And depending upon the specifications of your system, it will it might take a while, like minute or two before it completes. So I'll pause the video for now and get back to you once the process is completed. Okay, so next I'm presented with this screen and the very first option that you see says password hash synchronization. What it means that the password for the user that you have on premises will also be synchronized on your AZ account, but it will not be in the form of plain text but it will be a hash based uh, kind of authorization. So the users will be able to use the same credentials over there in our Azure Active Directory. And basically the last option which says enable sign a uh, single sign on, this, uh, this, uh, this checkbox or this feature will allow me to have my users use the same credentials both on premises and to access the cloud based resources or applications as well. Now before I proceed, I want to point out something important. If you look at my Active Directory users and computer section, I have this domain over here, which is gssdmv2.onmicrosoft.com. Now, any domain that I hear that I have here, it must be registered with my Azure account as well. So, for example, let me go back to my Azure portal and show you the current default domain that I have. I'm going to navigate to my Azure Active Directory. And then in here, my primary domain and the only domain I have for this subscription is jssdmv2.onmicrosoft.com. 
So when I was setting up this virtual machine, I made I made sure that it is the same domain that I'm setting up setting up over here. If it is any other domain, it must be registered on your on your Azure account as well. Now where you can see all the registered domains, go to your Azure Active Directory and then look for this option which says custom domain names. So in this you can see these uh, your custom domains verified. So all of them should be verified and available in this section. Okay. So as I can see my primary domain which is the only domain I have for this subscription is already available and verified. So I can use this, uh, use this, uh, this domain name uh, while setting up my virtual machine for this domain. It is important if this domain is some, something else which is not verified over my Azure account the synchronization won't happen. So this is the important thing that you should be aware of. So now it's going to ask me for my Azure AD account. So I have already typed in my username and as well as my password. So I will simply click next. Okay, so in here it asks me to enter a forest that I want to that I want to synchronize. It's basically asking me for a directory or a domain that I want to synchronize with my Azure AD. So let's say I have this domain which I want to synchronize. So I will have to click on this add directory and then leave it as it is. And then simply over here you can type in the admin username. The admin username have to has to be in the following format. You should note it down. It should be like jssdmv2 backslash and this is my admin user I'm sorry admin user is not in caps and then the password the password for the admin user so once you click OK it will try to verify it so the login credentials have been successfully accepted and now this directory has be is ready to be configured so now we'll click next and then leave it as it is you can if if you get this if you get this error if this next button is grayed out you can simply check this box and then click next and now in here is going to import all the my all my domain schema which includes all my organizational units now remember the objective was to synchronize this organizational unit only and if you remember in this organizational unit we had two users by the name synced1 and sync2 so I can simply uh, select sync selected domains and organizational units I'm not synchronizing everything I'm synchronizing something in particular so I'll click the second option and now this is uh, this is selectable I will expand it <coughs> and in here I can see my organ or all of my organizational units so I will uncheck all of them and only leave this organizational unit by the name office 365 as you can see over here as well so I will click next and then leave it as it is for the simplest synchronization process click next okay just simply click next and then next and then next again and then simply click install now make sure you select this option uh, to be checked because if it's it's not checked uh, at the end of installation it will not start the synchronization process so if you uncheck this uh, this uh, this checkbox and simply click install it will only just uh, just like configure the synchronization process but this actual synchronization will not happen so I will check this option for now and I will click install now this might take a while it takes uh, two minutes or three minutes so for now I will pause the video and get back to you once the process is completed now at the end of installation it 
gives me a pop up for a pop up of satisfaction which says the configuration has been completed configuration succeeded and the synchronization process has been initiated now it will take about 30 or 40 seconds to synchronize your selected items depend but it also depends upon the, uh, the overall scheme of your domain and the organizational units that you have selected within your domain now in here it presents me with some more features we could always go ahead and click on these blue links to search more about them as far as the synchronization of these two users is concerned it has been completed successfully now we can always go ahead and go verify it from the portal so i will navigate to the portal and in here you can see these two users synced one and sync two they have been synchronized from uh, an organizational unit which was office 365 so yes that's it for ad connect and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching